Hey guys, it's Dana with Fabulous Style. I have a thrift haul video for you. Um, I'm going to start out first with a couple home decor items that I bought uh, yesterday at a thrift store. Um, the first one, <laughs> and I don't know why, I just absolutely fell in love with this lamp. There were two of them. I bought two of these lamps. Um, but they're, it's a porcelain lamp in um, like burgundy colors and they just have this really beautiful red burgundy um, painting on them and then it's signed by the uh, the um, the artist it says Hildy there's nothing like on the bottom you know usually there's felt on the bottom of them and that's gone um, and then they have a finial at the top that looks like a um, a flower bud it's really pretty and this is brass and at the thrift store they had one um, shade on on one of the lamps but it didn't match and this I'm sure all comes apart and so kind of have to adjust it to make it all line up but I have this lamp shade that goes on a different lamp so it would be like this length and I wish I had two of these lampshades. Actually, maybe this lampshade's a little too long for this. I don't know. And I haven't decided if I'm going to put these woo, in my living room or in the bedroom. But like I said, there's two of them. So um, I need to find shades. They only had one at the thrift store and they had it priced separately. So I didn't get that one because I want them to have matching shades. So now I'm on the hunt for um shades for my lamp and then they also had hanging up above sitting up on top of one of the clothing racks was this picture and i just love this bowl of flowers and up here the decorative um like a plaque you know behind it and then down here some vintage like a tea towel or something it just kind of looks like little entryway table and so I'll probably put this in my living room I have a little bit of red in my living room so I think it'll look nice to put more in there and I have some other vintage looking pictures in my living room um, this is not a vintage picture it art in motion Catherine white is the artist pretty sure this came from Target maybe I don't know but I like this little dot detail along the frame and um, there's no mat or anything it's just glued right to the, to here so I think this is cute I do have another one that's similar that I thought was the same frame um, but it's not I got it home and then they don't actually go together I thought maybe they would and I could hang them kind of near each other but no this will go somewhere else in my living room so those were the home decor items that I got. A um, couple weeks ago, I forgot to show this in my last thrift haul because I was using it <laughs> and I completely forgot. But um, this is, you know, like a nice style that you see a lot of the um, different brands. Michael Kors has a purse that looks kind of like this with a hanging lock on it. Um, this particular purse is a Calvin Klein. I don't know if that's showing up on there, but I, I do actually really like this purse. It has um, a pocket back here for your cell phone. Um, I don't know. I like it, but it just, like, was I wasn't crazy about it for some reason. I like a stiffer purse, and this is not a stiff purse. Um, a lot of the ones that are really popular are that stuff. Soprano, you know, it's real stiff, kind of a ribbed leather. I would love to have one of those purses. Don't know. I mean, I only buy thrifted purses. So, um, you know, usually I'm like a year behind at least uh, whatever's popular. Um, so this, uh, what I really liked about it is that this has a shoulder length strap. And then it also has 
a long shoulder strap where the purse can be worn like cross body. And um, when I bought the purse, I was thinking, well, I'll just unclip the strap, but it doesn't, this doesn't unclip, but because it's a chain, it does just really easily fit inside of the bag. And I didn't really, it didn't bug me at all that it was down inside here, but there's a middle section with a zipper. So there's two main compartments and then one zip, big zipper pocket and then other pockets inside. And I just listed this on eBay. So this is listed right now. Um, what is this? October? No, November 11th. I'm way behind. So <laughs> I just listed this, I think last night on eBay. So we'll see. Try to sell it. I may have already put it on Poshmark also. Um, then last week I picked up this bag. Uh, and what's funny is that when I was at the store, I found two exactly like this on eBay. Now that I have it, <laughs> I was trying to research to see what it's called, if it actually has a style name. I can't find those two listings at all, which is crazy because I just bought this like maybe last week or the week before. Oh, so, but it's by Cold, no, Territory Ahead. <laughs> that catalog, online catalog, it's really big. Um, it seems like they called it, whoever was um, had the auctions called it, like a mail bag or something. It has um, a ha handle up here, but it also has a detachable strap in the back where you would pretty much have to wear it against your body. So it would be like a messenger bag, you know. Um, and it would be, if you filled this with books or something, it would be very heavy because it's, it's a really nice, thick, soft leather. Um, and very nice bag so I just I need to figure out to be honest it reminds me of like a big saddle bag that you would put on the side of a horse because it really is big enough to carry your stuff <laughs> but it has a big pocket here and then inside it has the logo and then a hanging pocket on the back and it clips together inside now it has this clips shut and then comes over and then the sides are adjustable we can have more room or cinch them up so it's a pretty nice bag I think I paid $7.99 maybe for this I don't remember if it was on sale the Calvin Klein purse I bought that at a store they originally had it marked uh, it was more than 50 like 55 they had it marked 55 and then I got it, no, they had it marked 35 and I got it for 25% off. So I paid 26 something for that bag. <clears throat> and then tonight I stopped at um, a St. Vincent de Paul and they had this adorable little hobo bag. This is leather. It's, ho you know, hobo, um, really nice leather. This has a little, um, magnetic dot closure and what's cool about it they had it clipped up kind of weird where this looked like a extremely long wristlet but the girl that worked there she's like no no no, I figured it out and so it's got this long strap you know to make it into a crossbody bag or you can take off this long strap and clip this on so this would go away and then it's just a little short um, wristlet thing but I think this would actually be really nice as like a um, kind of a instead of a wallet maybe because you could put I think you could put your phone in this top you know like a well like when you wear it as a crossbody bag you know and you just want a really tiny bag you could put you could this is deep enough I think even to put like your um, some a card credit cards and stuff in here maybe and um, oh no inside it actually has credit card slots on that side on this side it has the Ho hobo logo and then it has um, a big pocket there that you could put like dollar bills you know bills in and this would be a nice little you know 
crossbody travel bag that you could unhook, take the strap off, and then just put it into a bigger bag as like your well. This is the perfect thing when you're traveling and you need a crossbody bag, but then you also carry a bigger bag when you're out and about, want to take your stuff with you. Um, then you can use this kind of as your wallet. So I love these bags. And I have the one I had last year when we went on our big trip. It didn't, my phone fit in there okay, but I think, I really like this one. I think this is cute. I love the color. So that's that. Then last week had a different St. Vinny's. I found three stuff in the wallet bin. Um, this is a Brighton. Um, little bag on the back it has a little zipper pouch oh for it's a coin purse actually and then the top opens up there's a pocket in here and it's actually quite a bit of room inside of here and then on the front it has little pockets and the cutest little thing it's attached and you just swing it up a little mirror a little heart shaped mirror isn't that cute the black or the brown um, croc crocodile stuff and it just slides right back in I think that's so cute you could just you could use this actually this would be perfect for a makeup bag in your purse keep all your whatever makeup you carry with you and then you'd always have your adorable little mirror to pop up so it's too cute it's really nice you know how bright and they're thick pebbled leather and then the mock croc bottom there and then i also found this little duck symboled Junie and burke wristlet and it has the the dots or bubbles i don't know what those are called they have the db um, logo in them and then it's just an open case. I'm not exactly sure what this is meant for because it's too, it's just barely too short for sunglasses. This would be a great sunglass case. I guess you could just put like a tiny wallet in here. You wouldn't want to put loose change, but you, it would be big enough just for your ID and a couple little things and then just take it with you as a wristlet. So I thought that was cute. I'll be listing that because I don't... It doesn't match any of my Judy and Burke bags, and I don't really have a use for it. And then I picked up this other little Lotus wallet, because I was able to sell the last one that I had found. And it's red inside and has the Lotus logo right here and lots of coin slots. And, um, and then on the back, it has a zipper pocket. Just ultra, ultra soft. Oh such soft leather I love that and it's in fabulous condition I don't know that this has ever if somebody used this it was just for a very short time okay <clears throat> yesterday we were at the thrift store I did find this this was on the dollar rack I always uh, pick up white blouses just white cotton blouses um, I liked this one because it has this kind of an inset, you know, the um, pleating around the waist band, and it was on that made it to the dollar rack, so I didn't bother to try it on, but it's my size, so hopefully it'll fit, and I did, as I was walking around the store, I had, I was switching stuff from arm to arm, and I flung something over my shoulder, and it hit my mouth and got lipstick on it in two spots. I don't know how I managed that. Like attacked my face. Oh, over here too. I got some lipstick, which this is supposed to be folded back into like a French cuff. Um, so this is, actually it would cover it up, but I am going to wash this. I just left it out so that I could include it in my video. Um, another thing that I bought at Gently Used yesterday was this Oh So Soft. Oh, good. I thought that was a hole. It was actually, it's not. Um, this, I don't know if you call this a cape 
or shawl. I think it's more of a shawl. And it is uh, the brand uh, Artesianas Mon Ripos Handmade of Alpaca Wool. So this could be something that was possibly purchased in Mexico. Um, but it's, it is actually really cool. This beautiful blanket um, shawl. Shawl, yeah. A shawl. And then it has kind of a separate scarf that can be wrapped around your neck. And then down the front, I think this is pretty. It's um, got this beautiful um, crocheted or knitted um, section right down the front. And then the buttons are covered. They're um, also knitted. And it goes buttons all the way down. And then it has this really pretty fringe along the bottom but they had eight dollars on this and it's i cannot tell you how soft this is <laughs> it's like it is it's as soft as a cashmere sweater um, but it's alpaca wool which i know a lot of people love alpaca um, and this i'm too short to wear shawls or capes i just sold um that beautiful red cape wool it looks like a wool coat but it's actually a cape it's bright red so beautiful that was austrian wool um i just sold that and um i it just they kind of swallow me up and i'm because my hips are the like the widest part of my body it just makes them look huge but anyway um somebody taller than myself i know a lot of women just absolutely look beautiful in um shawls like that so i'm looking forward to listing that because i know the perfect person is just looking for it and then another thing i bought actually i paid for all my stuff yesterday then i came back inside because my mom i took my stuff to the car and my mom was still inside and then i found oh forgot i found those <laughs> and i found these um really cool loafers i'll turn them around so you can see them loafers by um robert clergy clergy yeah i don't know how to say the last name but i know it's a really um expensive brand but they're brown um, low men's style loafers, but they're women's. They're six and a half. They're just a beautiful shoe, and they have not been worn very much. They're a pointed toe loafer. They're just really gorgeous, and uh, men's inspired loafers are popular. They're in style this season. So um, I know he did a line of shoes for Target. I've seen them around, but these are they. These say Robert Clergy. Paris. So these are not from Target. They're really nice. They're kind of heavy and they're six and a half. They're just beautiful. So I bought those. They had five dollars on them. So I thought, well, I better pick those up, try to sell them. And then I have some things over here that I have bought a long time ago, actually. Some of these I bought a year, over a year ago because they were in the um, Halloween section. <laughs> but this one, actually I actually just bought this in the summer, and then I hung it up, um, and I forgot to put it in a video. But I bought this because I, re I love watching um, Thrifters Anonymous, <laughs> and they're so into sequins. And so when I saw this dress, I thought, oh, this is really beautiful. And it, it, it actually is. I mean, it is a beautiful dress um, on. And this, it's so pretty. And so I did not try this on in the store. I tried it on after I got home. And it fits me. And I, I love it. But then, I don't know. I just, I don't know when I would ever wear this. I did, in September, go to a wedding. My friend's daughter got married. But... You know you can't wear white to somebody's wedding so that kind of rules out wearing it to a wedding but it is beautiful the back it's got this beautiful cutout in the back 
And I, yeah, I mean, like some other, I just, I, well, there is supposed to be an event, a party that's coming up, maybe, that I might possibly wear this to. I don't know. I just don't know if I have, you know, I just, I would feel really self-conscious in this dress, even though it's beautiful. And I don't know. Tell me what you think. <laughs> If this would be too much, too much, too much to wear, it actually, it is really pretty because this part in here, it does come in a little bit. It's not fitted through the waist, but it does, you definitely can tell that you have a waist. And then this is too, this is too low, so I don't know what I would wear underneath it. Um, you know, because it would look, you couldn't just wear a tank top under this. You know, I don't know what I would put right here. Um because it is just way too low. So anyway, gorgeous dress. I may end up selling it though. And then a year ago in October, um, I, one of our, one of the thrift stores, they had this section where they said, they had a big sign that said, be a high-end zombie this year for Halloween. And so I started looking through it and it was all, clothes there's a store tag on one of these it's all it was all clothes like damaged clothes from I can't remember if it was Bergdorf Goodman or a Neiman Marcus um, it was one of those two stores and a lot of them I mean were slashed so I don't know if it's when they got in all their you know like the people in the back room accidentally slashed you know, like the outside piece of clothing, they were all wrapped in, um, it's like cellophane or what? I don't know. But these, this one, I, I washed it and then I let it hang dry because I went ahead and bought it. It was super, super cheap, but it has a stain on it um, on this side, like coffee got spilled down the side of this skirt. So I don't know if this was something somebody purchased and then returned, but isn't this beautiful? It needs to be ironed. But I thought, see, because the stain kind of starts right there. So I thought this actually could be shortened and made into, somebody could shorten it and make into a shorter skirt. And I I love to use um, clothes and make handbags out of them. So I had thought about cutting it off, you know, and making it into a tote bag. But it's a pretty thin, I don't know how well it would hold up as a tote bag. It's a silk skirt. And what is the brand? Because <clears throat> I had heard of the brand. Oh, I don't know how to say it, though. But you'll probably recognize it. Made in Italy. Where is the size? It's a 42, size small. Um, GM Battista Valli. I don't know. I'll let you look at the tag. See what you think. And anyway, now I'm kind of at a, I tried to wash it and this didn't come out. I don't think it will. It looks really bad down here. So I don't know what, I mean, what would your, do you think I should make this into a tote bag? Hmm. I mean, with really stiff interfacing and stuff, I could make it stand up or I could just leave it. It'd be really soft, a soft bag. So I would want to. I wouldn't really want it to be a tote bag if it was more of a soft bag. And this is really big to make into like an evening bag. So I don't know what, what could be done with this. It's probably just to shorten it and make it a shorter skirt and then sell it as an altered skirt. Maybe that's probably my best option. Although I'm not very good at hemming things. <laughs> so I don't know if that will happen. Um, this other dress, this was only $3, so I went ahead and bought it, but, you know, after I bought it and got it home, then I'm like, what in the world could you ever do to try to salvage this dress? So, if this probably would have been better off made into a zombie costume. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but it is, what is the brand? Oh, Neiman Marcus. That's the store that I'll... Oh, this is a Diane von Furstenberg dress. Oh, oh there's got to be a way to save this dress. That's why I bought it. I just like... Mm. 
this must be salvaged. The name of it is Pandora and the color is Gardenia. I just had to buy it, but why, why, why? I don't know what, <laughs> what you could do to save this dress. See, it's so cute and the front of it is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it in the front. This is so, so cute. And it has, you know, the front, it's almost that, it's not that neoprene fabric that's getting so popular, um, but it's similar to that. Like this is a raw edge. Um, so I guess maybe it is kind of that neoprene, but not like the scuba stuff, just a different feel to the fabric. But see, this is the back of the dress. It's all sheer here and it's been ripped out on this side. So, I mean, there's no way that you could find this exact color and so in another panel. I mean, maybe I'd have to have a professional seamstress do this or even just sell it, you know, this way and somebody else could have it done, which, you know, I've tried to sell things that needed work on them. And, you know, obviously nobody wants to pay anything for it because it's going to cost them a lot to have it done. So I don't know. I don't know what to do with this back. Um, and it's too small for me. This dress would never fit me. So even if I came up with um, an option for it, it still, it still wouldn't work as a dress for me. I would still have to find someone else that, that could fit the stress, but it's, it's just so pretty. So I had to, I had to get it. And so this last dress is something also that I found that same day, but this also, um, ha is new with tags, but it has a, just a little bit of damage. This is a brand new with tags Gucci evening dress. Um, it has, it doesn't have the original price in here, but it does have like the, then all the numbers, you know, the, the dress, what it's called and everything. It's from the 2013 spring collection. I found pictures of a British model and actress wearing this dress. Um, and I'll put those pictures um, at the end of this video so you can see because this the lighting in here, I mean, it just doesn't do this color justice. It's not really an emerald green. It is a pretty bright green, but it's brighter than the color showing up. It's a long floor length dress. It has ruffles down the back of it, and it has a slit um, that comes up pretty high, straight in the middle of the back of the dress um, to show the back of the legs. And this, the ruffle comes up around um, the front, and it's also in a little bit on the front. And then it has an open side. So you've got to have a fabulous body and be, be pretty daring to wear this dress. But it's a silk, beautiful, beautiful silk dress. The only damage that I could find to it is, and I can see, See right here, this big circle of that has a pen mark on it. And I did all kinds of research to try to figure out how to get out a pen mark, excuse me, from your ink um, out of silk. And one place said to use um, alcohol, another like rubbing alcohol, another site said to use um, those tied pens that are, you know, specifically made for taking out a stain. So I, I just barely tried to use that and I just barely got it a little bit wet right in this section. So I think what you can see here, this is just water. And so I may end up just taking this to a cleaners to see what they, what their suggestion is. I don't really want to remove the original tag from here. Um, this is a size 44 which that skirt was a 42 and it was a size small. So I'm thinking this is still like a six, maybe an eight. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful, beautiful dress. And there is, I think right back here, there's a little bit of tiny bit of maybe, I don't know, 
not really an oil stain. could be oil. Um, anyway, I'm going to take this to cleaners and just kind of get get their take on what I should do because I would, I'm, it's pretty much, I can't really sell it like this. So this, at least this right here has to be cleaned off. Even if the ink is still there, I would sell it, you know, and just put that there's an ink, tiny little ink stain. Other than that, it's a beautiful dress and you'll see when, when I put the pictures at the end. So that was such a cool find is it for my thrift haul video. Oh, my other two little things. It's always something else. In the clearance section, I went ahead and bought, I don't know if these are collectible yet. I'll hold on to it. This is Donald and his nephews. And it's one on the back of it. It says 2006 or nine. I can't remember which one. Um, but it's one of the trading pins that they started doing back then. And then this one does not say Disney on it at all. But I love, absolutely love Cinderella stuff. And I'm almost positive that this is one of the Cinderella um, birds that helped, helped make her dress. So I just went ahead and picked that up too. I thought it was cute. And I have a few um, pins back for a while I worked for Disney movies and they would send out pins when they would release new cartoons we were supposed to wear them when we went into the store I was a merchandiser so anyway that's that's it <laughs> that's the last stuff I got and um, so anyway I haven't been finding as much stuff as I used to thrifting and um, I'm trying to be a little bit more discerning now and not not buy. There's a lot of stuff that used to sell really well that's not selling very well anymore. And I have two big, huge totes full of stuff from a couple of years ago. I, I completely forgot I had this stuff. So I've been trying really hard to work through that and get it listed. So right now I have a lot of stuff listed on eBay and Poshmark. So um, if you're interested, check those out. It's fabulous style. I have a link below. Um, also to my Tyra beauty page. I still want to do um, a video about their, the mascara. That's, I'm just so in love with the Tyra mascara, the um, Smack My Fat Lash. No transfer. I've been wearing it all day today. This is like 6, 6.30 in the evening and it just, you put it on and it stays on and it just makes your lashes look wonderful and it does not come off underneath your eyes at all. It's, I love this mascara. So anyway, I might do a little a video about some of the eye products um, that I really like. And that's it. So thank you so much for watching my video and um, I will see you next time. Bye.